YouTube. It's fixing the biscuit here, and um, I got a little uh, thing we're making here, food. Uh, do something a little different. Uh, we're gonna fix it with biscuit, with food. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, make uh, some. Uh, they're called hobo packs. So yeah, let's uh, get right into it. And what you're gonna need is some broccoli, some red potatoes, cauliflower, cheese. Um, seasonings, whatever you like, you know, it doesn't have to be the, you know, what I do. I use uh, Johnny, uh, sea salt, um, black pepper, and onion salt, and that's it. And uh, you'll need some hamburger of your choice, whatever. Um, so let's get uh, right in here into this. And the first thing we do is we take some ground pepper and we put it down on here. And you just want to. I usually just mush it around to where I make a platform. And then next thing you want to do is you want to grab your uh, vegetables, whatever, you know, you can choose whatever vegetables you want. And I wouldn't normally um, use hamburger, you know, touch the hamburger and then touch your uh, vegetables because you're going to usually put them back in a package or whatever that you're not, you're not going to use. So, but I have already... Um, Measured it out. To, uh, I'm gonna make two uh, packs here, and yeah, so I don't have to worry about contaminating the uh, vegetables here. And that'll make another one. There we go. And then you just take your seasoning, put your seasoning on. And same goes with the cheese. I already measured it out, so of uh, you know, how much I'm going to use per freaking pack. And uh, there's your, your hobo pack, and then you just fold up the sides first, and then fold up your longer section next. And you just want to kind of. wrap them into each other so and close any of the little holes you see kind of make a boat and there's a hobo pack and okay um just pulled it out of the oven <laughs> let's uh test it out now yeah perfect so uh the next thing you're going to want to do is there's a lot of uh, juice in here and what I like to do is I like to drain it off so it doesn't uh, you're not eating all that juice or you don't spill it on yourself so I usually just get a dish and make a little uh, spot over on the side where I can grab it on both sides and just pour the juice off you don't have to pour the juice off. Um, it's just I prefer to. And there you go. It's really good now. All all together. You got your vegetables. You got meat. You got you know some potatoes. A little bit of cheese. So uh, thanks for watching.